Bruce Lawhead here for Online Music Lab reviewing the Keith McMillan Soft Step. Now I use this Soft Step to control loop my loopers in Ableton Live. And I know it does a lot more than that, but that's my primary function of this uh, device. And I've had it about six months, but in all honesty, I've only used it for about 20 hours, and that's in the last, say, month. So I wanted to give you my first reaction to using it between about 15 and 20 hours in this last month. So, a uh, quick review of what I use it for. I control all my live PA or one-man band stuff within Ableton Live and I use this to work the loopers in Ableton Live. I also run a uh, Motu 896 Mark III, I run a Akai MPK Mini, and I control Ableton Clips with my Launchpad. So, I've got mixed reviews on this. Uh, the first thing, I'll talk about the good stuff first. First, it's small. I mean, look, it fits into my flight case. Check that out. It fits in my flight case. That's amazing. My old foot controller was the Behringer FCB 1010, I believe. And that Behringer worked just fine, but the Behringer was like this big and that thick as a tank. Um, it, it was not going on the airplane, that's for sure. So this beauty slides in here. Um, it is backlit. So I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I open up my laptop. Um, I'll just unplug it and plug it in again. Well, it's not lighting up now. I guess I have to launch, uh, launch the software and I have to um, open up live. But all these buttons light up, and it's amazing. Uh, the problem with them lighting up, though, is it does cause noise on, in certain rooms. So certain rooms don't, aren't grounded properly, or I don't know, know what's going on but sometimes I have to turn that off to reduce the noise that I get with the soft step. So, the goods. It controls, you can program it to control your loopers, to, comp to control stuff within uh, various uh, softwares. It's small, it seems durable, although I have not toured with it. Um, it's a great design, it's thin. Look how thin that is. It's amazing. Okay, the bad. The bad is it comes with two uh, software programs, the Easy Editor and the Regular Editor. Now I got the thing to work with some good work in the Easy Editor. And what I, how I use this thing is I have my one, two, and three uh, start and end my loops and overdub. I have my six, seven, and eight clear those loops. I have my loop selector, A and B, that's why I have it labeled. These, this green and orange tape does not come with it. And then I have clear all and my tap tempo, and I programmed it to do that. Um, and it worked just fine in Easy Editor. Once I got into the regular editing software, it was incredibly difficult. And I'm not a computer programmer, I'm not a genius with gear. But I'm also not a slacker. I know some good stuff about gear. So I enlisted my good friend DJ Not So Much and Chase Dobson, and I had them help me out on this. And we emailed Keith McMillan. And after all that, we still couldn't get the functions that I have programmed in Easy Editor to work in the normal editing software and to work for my multiple instruments because I loop vocals, I loop guitar, I loop flute. Um, so right now, this is only working for my guitar looper. Not to say it can't or it won't in the future, but it doesn't now, and I've put good energy working, in, working on this thing. So, if you are not tech savvy, this might not be the best pedal for you. If you're not patient in programming stuff, this is definitely not the pedal for you. But if you are tech savvy, if you are patient, or if you have very tech savvy patient friends that are willing to help you out, this is uh, probably a good pedal for you. Especially if I know many people are using, still using the Behringer. And the Behringer is great, it's a tank, but if you want to slim down, this is, this is the way to go. The other thing I would really, really consider is... Uh, oh, there it goes. Now it's backlit. I just didn't have the USB in. So, you can see now it's backlit. That's really cool. The other reviews, you know, people are like, oh, you can spill beer on it. And yeah, I mean, I'm not drinking beer when I play very often or ever, but... Um, 
yeah, you can spill stuff on this. Or if it's a dark gig, which a lot of us play dark gigs in dark rooms, this is key. Um, I would seriously consider getting a really good USB cable. I've read other reviews and a lot of other people have uh, hiss issues or hum issues with this unit. So I got an extra shielded USB cable and it helped a little. And it just kind of depends on the room. Um, but be warned, there's some hum issues. Um, so, that is my quick review of the Keith McMillan Soft Step. Let me just review my review. One, it's slim, it seems durable, it's very programmable. I mean, you can program each corner of each button to do something. That being said, it's almost too programmable because it's really frustrating to program. Uh, even the email I got back from Keith McMillan, it was incredibly technical and it didn't work. It, so, not to knock those guys, they, you can't call them for one. You have to email them. They emailed me back in good time and the guy said this might even be much too much information in my email, but here it is anyway. Um, their software, you have to have the software on your computer to work this thing, is in version 1.2. So I'm optimistic that as they get their software updated and they get better versions that this uh, pedal is going to perform better and it's going to be easier to deal with. But right now it's a little frustrating deal to deal with. But for me it's worth it because of this right here everybody. It fits into my flight case. It fits in there. It's amazing. So I pack my whole rig into this SKB flight case which is crucial for me. So. There it is, Keith McMillan, short review. Hope that helps. See you next time.